Welcome back to our channel. I hope that you guys are all doing amazingly well today. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Morphe 3502 palette. I will also be doing this tutorial on this eyeshadow look that you guys see on my eyes right now. I will also be swatching the whole entire palette and I will give you a quick little review kind of thoughts on the palette and if you stick around until the end, we are going to be giving away one of these palettes to one lucky winner. And yeah, if you guys want to see all of that, then just keep on watching. So I haven't even opened the palette yet. It is still in the box. So I just opened the palette and this is what it looks like. It has all of the... Oh, I'm using a different lens today, you guys, so I'm like a lot closer to you. I wanted you to be able to see the eyeshadow going on my eye instead of me being so far away so hopefully this is not too close you guys let me know um but this is what the palette looks like and as you can see it has this little insert this little clear plastic insert and let's see if i can get it off so the shade names are not on the palette itself which is not a big deal i mean the palette is 23 dollars, so I believe it probably cost them more to write the names on the palette. I really don't know anything about that kind of stuff. But this is what this baby looks like. As you guys can see, I have not used it. I haven't swatched it. I have not done anything with it. The colors look beautiful. There are a lot of colors that do look a little bit similar to me. This one and this one kind of... I don't know. A lot of them look a little bit similar. But I guess we'll see when we swatch them if they are different. So one thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that there is no color for the brow bone at all. Uh, um, so that's a little bit disappointing, especially because you have such a big palette like this. I usually like to have everything in one palette, especially when I do have to grab a palette that's this big. Um, so yeah, there is no... There is no color for the brow bone in that palette. But anyway, for the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using these two guys here. Um, I usually use one of these and it's in the shade light, but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use these two. So I'm just going to mix these two shades right on my eyelid. And then I'm just going to take a little brush and blend everything in. I really don't have any idea of what eyeshadow look I want to do. So we'll see. I really don't know. I don't have anything planned in my head. So I'm just going to kind of go for it. I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't include like an off-white or a white shade to apply to the brow bone area. So... I'm going to grab so I'm gonna grab the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette and I'm gonna grab this color right here for the brow bone so I'm gonna apply this shade right here as the transition color so I'm gonna take my MAC 224 and we're just gonna put this on right here let's see so I'm really liking the way that it's blending it's blending out really really nice it looks like it's pretty pigmented this is just a transition color so I can't really judge it but it looks good all right so I think I think I want to come in with this shade next right here and I'm just still using my MAC 224 okay so it is so very nice it's blending out so nicely 
So I really, I'm liking this so far. I'm happy, I'm happy. So next, I'm going to grab this shade right here. And I'm going to be using my MAC 217 this time. And what I'm noticing is that there's hardly any kickback or anything like that. Like, it looks really nice so far. It's I love the way that everything is blending. So I'm just going to put this color right into the crease. And let's see what this does. So this color is super pigmented you guys like so pigmented so I'm gonna take this primer from Smashbox and I'm just gonna cut the crease so I'm gonna be a little bit adventurous and I'm gonna use this color right here So I'm going to take this color on the outer edge. Alright, so I'm going to take this beauty blender and I'm just going to clean all the edges just because it is looking a little bit crazy right now. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Alright, so now that I've cleaned off the edges, I'm just going to grab my eyeliner and go in with a wing. So, I think that for the lower lash line, since we already have so much going on on the top lid, I'm going to just kind of go in with some browns and some neutral colors. So, for the lower lash line, I'm going to come in with this color right here, and then I'm going to blend it out with this one right here and I think I'm going to apply this pencil from Marc Jacobs this is in the color Whirlpool and I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the in inner corner So I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. For lashes, I'm going to do these lashes from Violet Voss. I really don't know the style name because I keep them in this guy right here. I will take a look at the website and I will leave the name of the lashes in the description box below. All right, you guys, so this is the finished eyeshadow look. I have something in my eye, so I'm so sorry. I'm kind of doing weird faces. So I know that it was looking a little bit scary there for a moment. I actually didn't think that anything was going to turn out. Uh, but honestly, I'm actually really happy with the way that this looks and the way that all of the colors look together. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I did not have any plans and I usually would not apply such a crazy color on the lid, but everything together looks really, really nice. At least I think so. Hopefully you guys do too, but I'm going to go ahead and put on some highlight, a little blush, a little lipstick, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this review. So the palette comes in this box that looks like this. And if you guys are familiar with Morphe, you know that their boxes normally don't look like this. So they did update their look. And I have to say, I really like it. It looks a lot more classier. It looks a little more expensive. So even though you're still getting an affordable product, you are getting a little bit of better packaging. And I don't know, I really like that. It's not super important to me but I do like the fact that they updated the packaging and I do like the new packaging and also the Morphe uh, letters are new it no longer has the red M like it used to so I'm just going to read what it says on the back of the palette about the actual 3502 palette so it says 35 shades to change your world. Meet your squad of beyond creamy, highly pigmented, super blendable eyeshadows. This fiery palette is bursting with off-the-chart oranges and boldly warm neutrals. 
the endless looks are up to you morphe babes don't just blend in they blend the rules yes i love that um and then it does have the ingredients on the back and it says that it's made in china and it will be good for 12 months and it has a total net weight of 56.2 grams and each shadow pan has 1.98 ounces so that is basically the facts on the palette and this is what the actual palette looks like so it still comes in the black casing the black plastic casing that the morphe palettes usually come in when we open and obviously i already opened it because i already did the eyeshadow tutorial with the palette but today was my first time opening it it was my first time using it my first time swatching it so i'm just gonna kind of quickly go over the palette itself the palette retails for 23 dollars, and i believe that i paid five dollars maybe seven dollars in shipping i really do think the colors are beautiful in here if you are the type of person that loves warm colors and this palette is totally for you i do think that there are so many like different kind of variations of colors that you can very easily pull off so many different looks um, they did include a black shade right here the only thing that i do have to say that i'm a disappointed with is the fact that they did not include a matte eyeshadow color for the a matte off white or white eyeshadow color for the brow bone i hate having to grab another palette to just find one color do you know what i mean especially when a palette is this big I want every single color that I'm going to need to be in this palette because like if I want to travel with this palette I'm gonna to have to take another palette so that just so that I can have a brow bone color do you know what I mean so um, that was a little bit disappointing it's not a deal breaker for me you know obviously like I will make do but I do wish that they would have included that white or off-white color for the brow bone um, I also kind of wish that they would have included a lighter gold color kind of like that cool highlight color that you could pop in your corner or on the brow bone although I do have to say I did end up using this shade right here on my inner corner and I think it's beautiful it looks like a highlighter it's a very gold um it's not a cool gold but it's still like it's not super super warm um I don't know if you guys can see it it's right in the inner corner right here um I think it still looks really beautiful and it doesn't look more like a shadow it still looks like a highlight so the whole palette has 35 shadows hence the name 3502 i believe that that's why the 35 is in there but yeah there are 35 shades in here and i believe out of the 35 11 of them are shimmers overall i'll just give you kind of like a quick my opinion my review kind of thing as far as the way that the shadows acted i do think that this formula is way way better than the normal morphe formula um i did swatch all of the shades for you guys i did notice that some of them are very very close to each other even after you swatch them they kind of look like the same color and even if you look at the palette here, um, you can kind of see like a couple that are very close in color. Um, but they are definitely different colors, but how different are they? Like you guys will see when I swatch them, there's like four of them that I thought were really, really, really close to each other's colors. So, I mean, so there are some shades that are really kind of I would say sisters maybe cousins they're just very very closely look like each other so as far as the eyeshadows go and how they perform i really liked them i didn't get any fallout with them at all i didn't have any trouble blending the eyeshadows they blended really really beautifully they were just gorgeous i loved the fact that they were buildable and uh, yeah i really really do like the way that the palette performed and i do feel that this 
formula is better than their regular Morphe formula. So I don't know if they're using the same formula that they um, used when they did the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I can definitely tell the difference with this palette as opposed to all of the other Morphe palettes that this one just the blendability is so much better and the texture usually Morphe shadows feel a little bit chalky this one doesn't quite feel like that most of the shades here feel very buttery and very smooth and most of the mattes do feel very buttery and very smooth also there was like one or two shades that when I swatched kind of felt a little bit chalky but not a big deal so the palette retails for $23 and I believe that I paid $5, maybe $7 in shipping. I unfortunately do not have the first um, 350 palette so I can't compare this one to that one. But from what I've seen from pictures, I think this is the better one. I think they're like sisters and this is the better sister. Or maybe they're like twin sisters but this is like the prettier twin sister. Um, yeah, I think if you have to pick between one or the other one, I, I say go for this one because I like this one so much better. I feel like the colors are way way better in this one. I was really like in need of this type of color in my collection. So I don't know i think it's definitely worth it for 23 dollars um you know if you guys are able to definitely get it uh overall it's a great palette and i really liked it so that's all that i have to say about the palette and i'm gonna just go ahead and show you the swatches right now and i apologize the swatching quality in this room is not that great because it's all artificial lighting and when i zoom my lens in it gets really really dark in here but i can't leave it the way that it is right now because it won't focus on the actual like it won't focus on my arm so i'm really sorry if my swatches are kind of horrible but um i like doing it for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and watch that now so i'm so sorry you guys the camera was already recording and it didn't get these four swatches so i'm just gonna keep going from here One. so that is the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and don't forget if you want to join the giveaway just make sure that you are subscribed to our youtube channel make sure that you leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up and share it i will be picking a winner from the comments down below um and yeah i think that is it for this video don't forget to follow us on social media you can follow us on instagram snapchat twitter facebook it is all at Glitter Beauties, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!